with our uh, sideline hip abduction. So if we're on our side, we're trying to get this guy going, feeling a nice, uh, nice amount of hip work. This is just too weak to be able to have the power in the hip to raise the leg up, and now just kind of struggles or the tension goes from the front. Uh, we can kind of play with the form a little bit to see if we can still get a bit of the same effect to kind of bridge the gap. So one way we're going to do this is we're going to be on our back, pushing our heel down into like a little slider or a piece of cloth, depending on the flooring surface you have, to get that same uh, hip squeeze, but without the full gravity load, so we can kind of work up to it. So basically, we're going to be on our back like so. Uh, main thing is going to be pushing this hip down into the ground, almost like I start to bridge it myself or push my hips off the ground like so. So we're going to go a good squeeze in the backside hip, almost like we're pushing back like so. And then we're going to make almost, it's like almost like a quarter of a snow angel type of motion. So it'd be like pushing down the ground, back and forth. So as we go back and forth, we're going to feel like a nice squeeze in the hip. Uh, where we should, we shouldn't feel too much tightness on the front side. We can do that for whatever repetition amount is assigned. And um, over time, we can build this up and start putting a band across the feet. Uh, we'll do that in a separate video and um, start to build from there. But anyways, uh, major thing is to keep constant pressure on the heel as you go back and forth with the leg to make sure you don't lose that squeeze. Um, whatever range of motion is comfortable, back and forth to get a full sweep. And um, yeah, as soon as that gets easy, we can go on to the next level on it. So hope that helps. Any questions, give us an email and have a great day.